The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my God. Maria, when we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention, and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself. Not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died. Believing you had betrayed him. El Tayer! El Tayer! No! Strength, El Tayer. Maria. He is possessed! Kill him! Take the apple! Now! Where do you think you are going? Yeah!
Father, I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! This way. Where is Mother? She is gone, Darim. I'm sorry. Ahead of us! What? How? Later. First, we fight. Where is Mother? He's gone, Darim. I'm sorry. What? How? Brothers, we need not fight! Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. Later. First, we fight. We must leave at once! Watch out! No! We cannot let them catch us! Was it Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day he will pay. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair! And I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family! You cannot run forever! Not from us! And not from your lies! Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos, nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous janissary named Tarek Barletti, 
and find the location of the Templar's army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting, but not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio! Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleologos. Paleologos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleologos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need. Then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. In Daisy.
Selim understands our plight. The Byzantines, the Mamluks, the Safavid. Only he has the courage to face these threats. Hark, listen. Selim is a warrior, like Osman and Mehmet. So why has our Sultan chosen a cat over our life? He tied the murderer who took the life of a beloved Janissary. Ahmed shares the Sultan's calm temperament. They are too much alike, I fear. If you see something, say something. Dark tidings, citizens of Constantinia. A servant of our Sultan has fallen at the hands of a criminal and been stripped of his garments. Be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Go on, get out of here. You are not wanted here. Leave! I'm a Nar! Splendid and ruthless, the might of the Empire. Hey! Get out of here, you annoying man! Why does Ahmed linger in the city? He knows he's not wanted. God bless the Sultan! God bless the He is like a moth, hovering around an open flame, waiting for his father to perish, so that he may step to the throne. Did you hear he offered Tarek a sum of money in exchange for our loyalty? God damn him! What did Tarek... Kardesh Larim! One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumped like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Sultan Bayezid is a good man, and a kind Sultan, but he has lost the fire that made him great. No, no, he's still a fighter. Look at the army he has raised against Selim. This is further evidence of his decline, to take up arms against his own son? Shameful. Do not bend the truth to match the contours of your passion. It was Salim who attacked our Sultan. Evet, Evet, but Salim did it so for the glory of the Empire, not himself. I want to talk to you! Tarek, a message for you. <laughs> Ariculare. The rifles have arrived in Cappadoce, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. 
And our men, are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendim. Evet. For once. of Suleiman's investigation. You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect would come of such treachery? I blame myself. Not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadocia. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah Hashkila. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. I am getting tired of this uniform. Oh, 
won't get caught. Get away. 